When people talk about, man, how do I go from thinking of something to making it happen, or playing sports and being the best, or being in business and really reaching for the top, these things apply whatever you're in. There's five levels to go this greatness, to reach for greatness. And it happens in this sequence, in this order. And remember this, I call it Winfield's principles, truly. But everybody starts with God-given ability, whatever it is. In sports, you might have fast twitch muscle fibers or run faster or be stronger or have better endurance, whatever the case may be. This is the first level. Everybody has it, but how do you improve on it? How do you keep growing and developing? The next one, and this is any industry, know the rules, laws, techniques, fundamentals. If you don't, you're going to lose. You could be the greatest, and I'll use sports as an example, but think about your business. If you don't know the laws and the rules, you could play a baseball game and be better than the guys all the time. But if you don't know the rules and they trick you <laughs> and overcome, you say, man, how did they beat me? They were smarter than you. They knew the rules and the techniques. Know it in your industry. It's going to help you immensely. Next one, purposeful practice. Not going through the motions. Kids do it. We as adults do it. We go through the certain training. You're just going through the motions. You're not getting any better. You're not prepared for when it's tough, when it's tight, when it's late in the game, when it's important. You didn't prepare for it. So you lose because you didn't prepare yourself. Next one, physical fitness. You just have to be able to get through the grind, particularly in New York. The environment is rough. You're moving fast. You got things to do. You're aggravated. You're upset. You got to be physically fit to keep on going. So do whatever it takes. Eat right. Get yourself physically fit. And then the last, each level, if you don't apply these things, you're going to hit a glass ceiling. You say, how, how, how come I couldn't keep advancing? Because you didn't do each step in sequence, in order. And the last one is mental toughness. I looked at all the people in the Hall of Fame, the guys and everything, and everybody came up differently and learned it differently and succeeded differently. But to a T, every person in there had that mental toughness. Whether, I, I used to say in baseball, you know, whether your dog died or your tractor broke or your girlfriend left you or the weather's bad or they changed presidents in France or something, you put all that stuff aside. Game time, you got to play. A mental toughness, you play hurt, you play tired. You know, I hear these guys now, oh man, you know, well, so-and-so, so they see so-and-so pitching. Uh, you know, my, my fingers hurt today. You know, my knees are a little sore. Oh man, come on. I don't want to hear all that. Get your behind out there. You're mentally tough. You got to get through it. And then once you get through it, you have the confidence, okay, you got to keep on going. Sometimes we need guidance. Sometimes we need support. Sometimes we need motivation. But all those things, those things that get you to the top.